you see a, a president who, in, in his first speech as a candidate for the highest office in the land, described Mexican immigrants as, as rapists and criminals, has been warning about the threats of, of caravans and asylum seekers who he's described as animals and, and an infestation, despite the fact that immigrants commit crimes at a far lower rate than do those who are born in this country, despite the fact that we are now in one of the safest cities in the United States of America, safe not despite but because it is a city of immigrants, the president's language, his rhetoric has produced the kinds of hate crimes that we saw in El Paso yesterday, but we've been seeing across this country, they've been on the rise for each one of the last three years. So we cannot act as though this were just some kind of natural disaster or a matter of course for this country or the new normal for the United States. There is a very real cause to this and, and President Trump is part of that, but he exists in, in a racist environment that is being fueled by, by Fox News, by those who on the internet traffic in these conspiracy theories. Uh, the open hatred and intolerance that has found a home in people like the shooter and, and what he did yesterday. I met a woman in the waiting room at University Medical Center last night. Um, she was waiting on news uh, about her husband who had been shot in the chest. He was shot in the chest as he was out in the Walmart parking lot at a booth raising money for the soccer team that he coaches. He was there with his kids who, who luckily escaped to, to safety inside the McDonald's next door. Um, she asked me, um, why is this happening? Why does this continue to happen? Uh, what will it take for, for this to stop? And, and in addition to laws that make it harder for people to get a gun, who, who should not have one in, in the first place, universal background checks, closing all the loopholes, ending the sales of, of assault weapons and weapons of war, red flag laws. We also have to acknowledge that, that the open racism and intolerance and hatred that we are seeing throughout this country being, being echoed and, and trafficked in by the president of the United States, who encourages this kind of hatred and as a result, this kind of violence must be stopped. And, and it's up not just to a, a person or a political party, but, but all of us as Americans to, to put an end to it. And again, I, I know that the people of El Paso will take the lead in, in this fight.